Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. Welcome in. We'll wait a few moments as always for everyone to join in. Let me know you're here when you join in. So I can say hello. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Crazy Cat Lady. Hello, Valencia. Hello, Beverly. Hello, Markel. Hello, Julie. Hello, Yvonne. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Hello, Penny. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome in. I'm really excited for tonight's bundle. So I have like this whole uh, really, really cool like intro that I edited today. I spent forever. We recorded all of these, uh, all of these like ad rolls and stuff and it was taking forever to render. So I couldn't get it to render. I was waiting forever. Uh, I was originally going to go live at 730 and it just wasn't rendering. So I sent uh, Apple a, a service request to try to figure out why the heck it wasn't rendering and what the heck was going on. Uh, so hopefully they get back to me soon. The Monroeettes, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Uh, Jen and I say hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello at the softball game. Uh, so I'm going to head down to the table and show you tonight's bundle. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun because this is something that's very different. It's very different from any bundle that we've done in the past. And you're getting some really cool additional uh, items. Oh, yeah, we will talk about that advent calendar uh, real quick before we, we start on. So let me head down to the table and let's talk about that. So that is not tonight's bundle information. Tonight's bundle information also would not render whenever I was trying to get everything going. So we'll be we'll be back into real life tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have all of the new cameras tomorrow too. We should have all of our new camera equipment tomorrow evening. So We'll have fun playing around with that. So number one, let me start with this guy here. The Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar. We have less than seven remaining. Uh, I had a feeling that these were going to be a going, going, gone very quickly, but I didn't realize it was going to be that quick. So we are well, well through three quarters of our inventory. So if you want this crafty advent calendar that I will be uh, hanging out with all of you in December, showing you every single little darn thing that's in this box, you are able to grab it, um, but you'll need to check out tonight because I have a feeling it's not going to last until tomorrow. Hello, my beautiful Cherie. How is Florida? I hope it's treating you well. And then secondly, we have the Mary Stitchmas. So this one, we had a little bit more inventory on. Uh, I believe there's like 10 of these left. So I need to find the Doodlebug class links to get the last two. Oh, yes, Yvonne. You absolutely have to take those classes. There's not very many of, of I think, I think the advent calendar one is almost sold out. Oh, good, Beverly. So uh, this is the Mary Stitchmas. I will, or, or 12 days of Stitchmas. I just, I want to call it Mary Stitchmas for some reason. I don't know why. Hello, Anne-Marie. So the 12 days of Stitchmas, I will be uh, doing this with all of you in, I think, mid-September is when we're going to start uh, talking about Mary Stitchmas. And I'm going to be doing some pre-recorded videos with these, I've decided. So instead of doing lives, we're going to do some pre-recorded videos uh, and pre-recorded videos of the openings because I know that there are some of you that won't be able to get these and I don't want you to miss out on a regular everyday live. Hello, Brandon. How are you, my friend? So again, we have the Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar. That will most likely, most likely sell out tonight. I, I can almost guarantee that this is going to be gone tonight. Mary Stitchmas, we may have 24 hours for Mary Stitchmas. So that is the Mary Stitchmas. Um, yes, the, yeah, so Spellbinders, I don't think... They may not have any. I don't know what they have left because I bought as many as I possibly could. And then, of course, I saved one for myself because <laughs> I, I had to have one, right? 
Uh, the link for Mary Stitchmas. Uh, hold on one moment. Uh, let me see if I can grab that for you. Uh, it looks like 12 Days of Stitchmas. Uh, Penny posted it here. Um, I don't think that I'm going to be able to share it because I'm not using that feature, but I'm sure she'll probably share it again uh, for you. Is the Advent class in person or virtual? Everything is virtual, Jerry. All of the Doodlebug classes are virtual. So um, I'm going to have to get a graphic here to show you those. Um, but we have uh, four Doodlebug classes. Two are being taught by myself and two are being taught by our very own Shannon. Okay. All right. So that is everything um, that I have to say about that. <laughs> so let me grab and we're going to talk about what we are doing tonight. And I'm really excited because this is the first time in the history of a bundle that we are giving you inks, which I am so, so, so excited about because we have never given you inks before. Uh, Julie, so the Doodlebug classes, I believe that uh, Penny just posted a link. It should be right above. It says Doodlebug classes. That's where you're going to want to click, and that is where the classes are at and the classes like i said we only have i think we we only put 12 spots for every class because that is uh to tell you the honest goodness truth all i want to teach for those classes because i don't want it to be a really big class i want to be able to really 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 hang out with you have conversations with you uh and we will be sending out additional details about those i'd say probably early next week that's that's the plan uh, it should be early next week. I have to meet with, um, um, am I here? Is it frozen? Am I here? So I, I'm going to meet with, with, uh, with Jess and Shannon to get all the rest of those details worked out. That is, that is the plan. All right. Now I'm here. Okay, good. Yeah. Just some overlays. Yep. Not frozen. All right, let's talk about tonight's bundle because it is not going to, we have eight of these. Um, okay, so I am teaching Jerry the Halloween one. I'm teaching the Halloween uh, album and I'm teaching the advent calendar. And Shannon will be teaching the Christmas, the Christmas journal, the Christmas flip book, and she'll be teaching the recipe book. So she's teaching the recipe book and the Christmas flip book. I'm teaching, of course, the Halloween book, as well as the, uh, the advent calendar. We're going to do some really fun, some really fun things with that advent calendar. And really, the advent calendar, we're just going to kind of create it together. It's not going to be like a real intense class because the paper kind of shows you how to do it. So we're just going to hang out and... And have fun and I and I'm thinking that you might get a little hot cocoa uh, in your in your class kit so that we can have some hot cocoa together and we're really just gonna hang out it's you know the 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 album classes are a little bit more intense because obviously you kind of have to follow along but for the advent calendar we're just gonna hang out we're just gonna you know turn on a little holiday music and hang out and have fun and, and get ready for the holidays hello Mackie all right Let's talk about this bundle. Did I mention we have eight of them? <laughs> we only have eight. So these may be gone uh, overnight. So first and foremost, you are going to get a full pack of Not Your Mama's cardstock. The Not Your Mama's cardstock is very, very important for this. And the reason for that is we are going to be using the stamping foam. The stamping foam really needs a really, really, really uh, robust cardstock to accept the ink or accept whatever you're transferring over to it. So Not Your Mama's cardstock, which is our 130 pound cardstock, it is a real doozy, uh, is needed for this. So you get 20 sheets in your pack and you are getting this in your bundle. Then <clears throat> you are going to be receiving two stencils. We uh, are gonna need these two stencils because I'm gonna show you how you are going to press your stamping foam into your stencils. We're gonna talk all about that. You are going to receive a pack of the gold square sequin sheets. These sequin sheets are gonna be something that we're gonna use for embellishments for our stamping. You are also going to receive the 
Sunny Sentiments stamp set and die set. I don't have the die set included on here, but you will receive the die set as well. You're also going to receive the cutting die set. This is the Easy Elements die set. If there's any die set that you get from Brutus Renault this year, it really should be the Easy Elements die set. It is an incredible die set. There's like, I think every single thing you could possibly need in order to create uh, any project. I mean, really, literally any project. Okay, so uh, Penny, when you get a chance, can you give me the status on the uh, on the advent calendar? How are we doing on that? It should be at the point now where it will tell us the inventory. All right. Then you are receiving three Simon Hurley inks. You are going to receive Shooting Star, Love Struck, and Roar. If you have been waiting to try the Simon Hurley inks, now is your time because you are receiving three of them in three of my favorite colors, to tell you the truth. You are going to receive three of the Simon Hurley ink pads in your kit. Awesome. Just absolutely awesome. You are also going to receive the star of this show, the stamping foam. Now, I didn't want to give you just the plain stamping foam, not because I don't love the plain stamping foam. The plain stamping foam is great, but I gave you one, the heart cutout stamping foam, because I want to show you how we can use that and a really cool technique that we can do with that. So you are getting the heart cutout stamping foam. And then last but certainly not least, you are going to receive a small brayer from Ranger. Now, the brayer will be excellent to help you to add your color, not an SOS status yet, okay, good, to add your color to your block. And when you add color to your block, I'm going to utilize just, I'm gonna go straight ink to block because that's, it's a little bit easier for me uh, because I love to add a lot of ink, but the brayer may very well be much easier for you, okay? So any questions about tonight's bundle? It is a real doozy tonight. Probably one of my favorite, probably one of my favorite bundles, to tell you the truth. It's a big one. It is a big one. Oh, there goes my keyboard. All right, are we ready to talk about stamping foam? Um, Colleen, you're gonna give it to the, uh, give it to the uh, teacher's aide in the front of the room, please. <laughs> that is that is where we accept all all tardy slips. Thank you very much. I appreciate you not slipping in the back and thinking that I didn't see you. <laughs> all right. Any questions about the bundle before we start before we start going? I know, isn't it the best? Isn't it the best? Just waiting to see if there are any questions. Need black ink, do you carry it? Yes, Raven, Raven ink. Raven ink. It is the best. It is the best. All 
All right. Well, I guess there are... Oh, only seeing... Okay, so Raven may be sold out. Let me look. Let me check real quick. Let me double check. Uh, we are sold out of Raven, unfortunately. Yes, we are unfortunately sold out of it right now. It has been very popular. <laughs> very popular, I think, since I started doing the lives. Very, very popular. Because I think, because I use it pretty much in every single live. Every single live that I do. Almost every live. Okay, so let's move these out of the way and let's start chatting about stamping foam. I'm gonna leave my inks up here because I do, I do need my inks. And then I am going to grab some Not Your Mamas because that's what I'm gonna use to stamp it down. Okay. All right, so the way that this foam works. So this one. Is a little bit different because it has a cut out of it. Um, I have not yet, but I am. I think I'm going to do that this week. I think I'm going to do a separate live for that this week. At least that's my that's my plan. That is my plan. Oh, and also, if you get a bundle, you still get the free, uh, the free sleeves. Oh, good, Jerry. You'll get these sleeves for free if you purchase any of the bundles. All right, so let me grab a stencil here. And so the way this foam works is this middle piece does pop out. So you can use it as one full piece, or you can use it as this piece popped out. But I'm going to show you how to use it separately to get started. Okay, so let me grab my grab my stencils. Open this one up. So we're going to start with the Fallen Hearts. I love this one. And we are going to heat our stamping foam in order to get this impression, okay? So you're gonna take your heat tool and by heating your stamping foam, you will be able to get an impression. So you're going to heat it up pretty well, as evenly as you can. And you'll see it kind of becomes a little shiny when it's heated up all the way. Okay, and then we'll flip it over and we are going to press it down on our stencil, okay? I have, Penny, yes. I have seen it. And then when we flip it over, can you see all of our hearts there? Isn't that cool? See all of the hearts? Can you see them there? I hope you can see them. The camera's not really doing it justice here. Okay. So, 
Then we are going to use our other stencil to create a different impression. We're going to heat up this guy here. It does. Oh, that's great, Marlene. You're gonna hold it down. And look at how cool that is. Okay, so now what I can do is I can place this back inside. Okay, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's, you know, in there. And look, now we have two different impressions. I'll show you on this real quick. Whoopsies, I dropped my phone. It's going across the room. So I'll show you, let me show you. So when I heat this up, watch. See, no hearts. So we're gonna do the hearts again. Let me heat this up. Okay, now you have to be kind of quick, but not too quick. And you're just gonna press this down with like, I guess I would say like medium pressure. If you need help with this, you can always like grab a book and you just wanna make sure that you're kind of giving it even pressure all the way around. But the look of this is kind of meant to not be super, super perfect. Can you see that there? I mean, I'd say we got that pretty perfect on there. All right. So now we can take our inner piece and place it inside. And now we're gonna have two different stamped images, okay? So I'm gonna take some Love Struck and I'm gonna do Love Struck as my, my first impression here. So now as I'm adding the ink, can you really see that impression there? And with a brayer, you'll just kind of hit the top surface, but you'll see that this is going to stamp. Um, it's going to stamp very interestingly. All right, so there is our solid color. So now I'm going to grab my fine mister. These We sell these at Bruce Monroe. I love these because it gives you a very, very fine misting. So we're just going to mist it ever so gently. And that's going to activate our ink on there, okay? So just give it a second to activate. Give it a second to, to kind of zhuzh up a little bit there. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna flip this over onto our paper and we're just gonna press it down. Now you wanna give it a couple of seconds 
because you want it to kind of adhere or you want that ink to really, really soak in. Okay, my, yeah, the fine mister just got back. We just got it back in stock. All right, so now we can lift this up and look at how cool that impression is. All right, so we'll probably be able to get another one. This one won't be as prevalent, but then we can lift this up and look at how cool that background is. Isn't it cool? So now you can see your hearts and you can see your, but you can also take this out, right? So let's pop this out of here and let's grab another piece of Not Your Mama's Move this over here, let that dry. Not Your Mama's is gonna take on that ink and water really well. Not Your Mama's is not made for you to be able to watercolor on, but it will accept the water really well. And look at how much ink is still on here. Isn't that great? So now we can do these separately. So I'm just gonna pop this down here. Give it a second. Where'd I put my paper towel? Oh, we'll use our microfiber cloth here. Okay. And then we'll grab, we'll just do a little bit more of a spritz on this guy here. And it's gonna just kind of spread out a little bit. Okay. Pop that guy down there. And lift it up and look at how pretty okay it's gonna be hard to see because of how bright the lights are but I'm gonna bring it up so you can see it just did the most perfect heart outline and you can see the little hearts on here but it's, it's gonna be really hard to see on the camera but now this one is already almost dry and look at how cool that is oh yes that's a great idea that's a really great idea. All right, so let me move these to the side. Now I'm going to show you how you can very easily and quickly uh, clean these. And you get two of them. You get two in a pack. Okay. And I'm going to grab a background stamp to show you what you can do. Actually, we're not going to use a background stamp. We're going to use a floral stamp and we're also going to use a cutting die to get those things out of the way here okay because I want to show you a couple a couple ways I guess so I'm not trying to <laughs> I'm not trying to but I guess it just happens so now I'm going to grab some of our squeaky clean There's still plenty of ink on there though. If you want to use that ink, again, I mean multiple times, oh, that's the peppermint. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go over top of your foam and it'll clean up for you really nicely. Now you may still have a little bit of a red hue to it, but that's just because, I mean, red pigment is really going to, red pigment is going to stick to anything you put it on, but, it's, it is what it is. Okay, and then we can put it back together like so. Yeah, the distress, yep, correct. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna heat this up. And you'll see right before your eyes how it's gonna disappear. It really is magical.
and see now it is completely normal. Not a single impression on it. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. And you get this in the bundle. All right, so now let's talk about what we can do with a stamp, all right? So when we grab a stamp, this is one of my favorite ones. This used to, this was Conservatory of Quotes, which we don't manufacture anymore. But maybe we'll bring it back someday. I don't know. Maybe someday. Hello, Monica. Hello, my friend. All right, so we're going to put it stamp side up, right? And we're just going to use the heart for this one, okay? We're going to heat up our heart. So I think that's heated enough. We're going to flip it over and we're just going to press that down into the stamp. Okay. Press it down gently but firmly. Okay. How's everyone doing out there? I know, right, Missy? Isn't it cool? All right. And when we lift it out. Look at that beautiful floral impression. Isn't that cool? So now take our stamp and we can take uh, this time. Let's do let's do some of the orange. And what it's going to do is it's going to do the reverse of the stamped image. But you're still going to see some beautiful florals. And I'm just dragging this ever so gently across. All right. And then let me grab another. Well, we'll do it on this piece here. Just take your fine mister. Give it a couple of little tiny spritzes. Let's say three should be good. This is not a large, a lot of surface area. Give it a second. You should show what the stamp image looks like. Oh, yeah. I could do that. I don't know if I have a large stamping block here. So now you can see, it's going to be hard to see on camera. I'm going to do a second impression right here. But it's going to give you this really cool, you can see it much better in person, but you can see the florals that are a part of that. It's so cool. So, so cool. So that is using a stamp. Let's go ahead and let's clean this off real quick. Let me show you what happens when we use a die. All right. Can you see how detailed that is? It's really cool. But let's heat this up to get... All of that out of there. Okay, and now we'll grab both pieces and put them back together. All right, you can see how over time you will see that there is definitely a difference between the two pieces, and I love that. Um, save one of them and use them together so that you kind of have a together piece. But we do also offer the, you know, the, 
the other pieces, the other stamping foam separately. So, let me grab my butterfly wings. Yes, you sure can. Thank you for mentioning that. So let me grab a cutting die. So pretty much anything that you can get an impression with, you can use. There's a lot of, Simon Hurley has a lot of really great videos where he shows you um, how, he, how he does it, like different things around the house. So I'm going to actually put this butterfly on this heart, well, the best that I can. Okay, heat this up. And you do have to be careful because it will actually, you can get a fingerprint impression here, I'll show you. So I'm gonna put my fingerprint on there. It's not hot enough to hurt me. It just gets, you know, warm. And look at how detailed, oh, you're not gonna be able to see it. But look at how detailed, I wish you could see the ridges. You can see literally the ridges of my fingerprint. Let me see if I can stamp that to show you with some Raven. I'm not gonna spray this one. Use the back of this piece of paper to see if I can get an impression. Yes! There we go. See how detailed the lines are of my, nope, you're not gonna be able to see it. With the new camera, you'll be able to see it, but it's, you'll just have to take my word for it, I promise you. It's very detailed, very, very detailed. All right. Oh, I should probably heat it up first. It's hard to, hard to clean it whenever it's all bumpy. But the Raven ink most likely will stain this. I'm thinking. Plus, I'm also heat setting it into it, so that's not going to help our cause, right? Sorry to anybody that hates that noise. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So that did stain it, but that's okay. It's not gonna hurt anything, it's in there forever. We'll just use the other side. So let's heat this up again, because it has two sides. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be chasing Minnie and Benson all around the house tonight. Around the whole house, trying to get their paws. I'm gonna say, give me that paw. Give me your paws, I'm, I need, it's for, it's for art. I'll be chasing them all around the house. All right, now we're going to flip it over. Try to get it as centered as possible. And look at that butterfly. Now, of course, you won't be live in front of hundreds of people, so you will be able to, you know, get yours really, really centered. I'm, you know, this is where we're at tonight. <laughs> oh, yes, a baby footprint. So for this one, I'm going to take my blending brushes and I'm going to add some color. So I'm going to create a color wash on this one. So I'm going to take my love struck in the center, just tapping towards the center. Then I'm going to grab my roar. And then the shooting star. Uh, Benson James is great and Minnie Monroe is great too. Uh, she... They were both wild when I was trying to leave for work this morning, running around like banshees.
The problem is when one of them's bad, they're both bad. They, they follow in each other's footsteps. They, they are bad together. It's not just one of them. One of them isn't just, you know, it's, it's both of them that have to be bad at the same time. All right, so this one's almost dry. Look at how cool that is. So this was our second impression. This was our first impression. Look at how that's drying. As you can imagine, there's probably a million things in your mind, just like they were in mine when I first started. I know. Well, once I start doing some more lives at home, you'll see them. Don't worry. Well, Minnie never really was a part of the lives because she went to bed early because she had to because she was a wild woman. I mean, she's still a wild woman, but she um, is not as wild as she used to be when she was a baby. All right. So now we're going to take this and flip it over. She did. Give it a second and look at that beautiful butterfly impression. And then of course you can get a second impression. Probably can get up to three depending on how many times you spray it. But do you see that beautiful butterfly? I just love the like outline. Like I just wanna ink this up and just make a heart, you know? But there's so much you can do with it. So, so much you can do with the stamping foam. I'm gonna clean this off. And that is that. Does anybody have any questions for me? It's almost done, Donna. Almost done. Just a couple of little, a little here's and there's. See how that's just disappearing? All right, and there we go. So that is the stamping foam bundle. I'm just going to reiterate real quick before I head off of the live that uh, we still have a couple of the advent calendars. So we have uh, the advent calendar, the Spellbinders advent calendar. That is the one that is most likely going to sell out tonight or before tomorrow morning. And secondly, we have the, whoops, the Stitch Miss. That one we probably won't see till the end of the week. So those two are available. And then of course we have the bundle for this evening. And that is that. Does anybody have any further questions for me before I am all done for the evening? Tomorrow's gonna be a really fun live too. I can't wait till you see. Hopefully we'll have all the new camera equipment. So it's gonna be like a whole new world. All right, everyone. Well, if you don't have any questions, thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for being a part of my life. I appreciate you all so very much. And um, I will see you all very soon. Remember to create something every single day, whether that's a great impression with your stamping foam or your own ending. I love you all very much and I will see you tomorrow.